Welcome, sports fans, to the Breath of Fresh Air National Hockey League regular season preview. So in this webcast, we're going to pick who we think are the favorites in each conference, the Eastern and the Western. We're going to talk about our dark horses, and we will conclude with picking who we think will be playing each other in the Stanley Cup final. So I'm your host, Charles Taylor, and I have Patrick Brackett with me. Say what's up, Patrick. What's up, everybody? All right. Well, let's begin with the Eastern Conference, Patrick. Uh, the, I think this one, in my opinion, is a little bit more clear cut than what I think the West is. But who do you have as your favorite right now coming out of the East? Honestly, man, it, it, it's hard for me to pick this. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you go first tonight because <laughs> it's the Eastern card. You say it's clear cut, man, but I'm I'm like I think I think the, I kind of feel I kind of feel the Western Conference is a little more clear cut, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let you take the Eastern first, man. All right, man. yeah, because I mean I I I don't know if it's like that clear cut. I mean, there are a lot of good teams in the East, but to me, it's a little bit more clear cut then the west and we'll jump into the west in a minute to explain why i think it's kind of questionable but uh for my favorite in the east i'm gonna go with tampa bay because i think this is a young team who made the stanley cup finals last year and took the chicago blackhawks to six games and chicago has a lot more experience well in terms of being in stanley cups so uh, I mean, they got there, and that was probably a little bit unexpected uh, from them, but they they got to the Stanley Cup Finals, and they have a young team. All those guys have returned. So I like Tampa Bay uh, not overlooking Montreal, not trying to overlook the New York Rangers, or uh, even going with the Boston Bruins, not trying to overlook them, can't overlook the Penguins either because they have Sidney Crosby and Mark. Don't, don't overlook the – you need to overlook the Penguins because of Sidney Crosby. <laughs> as much as I don't like the bad. <laughs> I, look, I look at it like this, man. At least he's on the ice because when he sheds all those tears, at least they're able to ice it over and keep the ice all nice and clean because he's a wine bag. And, the only and, person and that's bigger wine bag then Bryce Harper is Sidney Crosby. And, it, and look, and, and see, that's the thing. The Sambonis always take care of that. Is that what they're called, the Sambonis? <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right. <laughs> but <laughs> What they should call them is Sidney Crosby's tear clearers. It, yes. Nice. I like that day. <laughs> but, uh, no, but, yeah, I, I think Tampa Bay uh, is my favorite. Who do you have? Well, uh, we, we talked about this a couple of what was a couple of days ago, and um, I told you, man, I, I I was thinking Washington coming out of the the Metropolitan, but but I, you're right, dude. That Tampa Bay team, man, they're young. They got to the Stanley Cup last year, and you know, out of what was it, 28, 30 teams, whatever it is, they're the only team that really did not change a lot. Everybody else has just, you know, moved, move people. I mean, you looked at Chicago. I know we'll get to them in a little bit, man. But they lost Brandon Say. They lost Patrick Sharp. Um, you know the Adulia. Adulia. Uh, Kane is going through all these investigations and stuff. Um, man, I'm gonna have to agree with you, man. I, I sit here and looked at these teams up and down. <laughs> How 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 can you how can you not how can you not go into Tampa Bay, man? I'm gonna have to agree with you. You were right two days ago, and now I'm gonna have to say you're probably right today. Uh, I like Tampa Bay coming out of the Eastern Conference, man. All right. Um, I, I guess I started seeing what you saw. That young talent. They didn't change anybody, and the only thing that, like I said, the only team that in the whole conference that even kept their entire team together. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one, man. You have to like the continuity, man. And I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, Montreal did a pretty good job of staying together as well. So I think Montreal will be heard from. And like I said, I mean, there are a lot of good teams in the East. But just based on what I see, man, I don't know why. Tampa Bay, to me, just looks solid. Um, 
Yeah, I mean Montreal looks pretty good, man. But they they got PK Subban, and you know, I don't like, you know I don't like him. <laughs> but Patrick, hey, you know he's a beast, though. That dude is a beast. <laughs> when he decides to play, yeah, he is a beast. <laughs> and he's not playing against Brad Marchand. <laughs> well, with that said, Patrick, so we both agree that uh, Tampa Bay is uh, the favorite, I guess. I would agree to say Tampa Bay is a favorite, but I will say this, man. Um, there's, there's a couple of teams, man. Look out for Columbus, man. Columbus looks really good. Their team is is because Columbus is who picked up Matt, uh, Patrick Sharp, and was it no, Columbus? Sharp, Sharp went to the Stars. Start, yeah, that's right. They, they got saved. Stars. Bad. Saved. They got saved. They got Brandon saved. Um, look out for look out for Columbus, man. I think they're going to be. I, they're up and coming. They're up and coming, man. I, I, I'm going to have to say, man, in the Eastern Conference, I got two dark horses coming out of here, man. I don't know who I want to go with, man, but Boston looks good if they can get that blue line going and, and, and Columbus, man. Man, dark horses. This might not be a big dark horse, but I'm going to go with the Washington Capitals. Because when you can get TJ Oshie from the St. Louis Blues pair up in that line with Alex Ovechkin, mm -hmm. that could give them that big time scoring punch they need to kind of help Ovechkin. Uh, they can't. They haven't gotten past the uh, Eastern Conference semifinals for whatever reason. They just cannot get through there. Uh, they got knocked out by the Rangers in seven games uh, last year. Uh, I think. With Oshi coming in there, I they could have the right mix now of offense and defense. So I I like the Capitals to maybe get past the Eastern Conference semifinals and maybe make a run toward the Stanley Cup. That would be my dark horse right now. I agree. I mean, I'm not gonna agree. I'm not gonna say they're my dark horse, but they're. I, I would say they're. I would I would agree with you, man. Those those teams right there, man. I can I can sit here and say Tampa. Montreal, Pittsburgh, Columbus, Washington. Hey, 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 hey. You gotta you, throw the Islanders and the Rangers in there too. You said Pittsburgh. I you don't want to. them out. <laughs> you know how it is. If somebody touches Sidney Crosby, he cries, they give him four goals, and everybody goes home. Hey, you know what? Good good uh mention of the Islanders, man. I I I totally Forgot about the Islanders. They're another team that's uh, very good and can make some noise as well. I, I forgot all about them. I'm glad you brought them up. Yeah. One more thing on the Eastern Conference, man, and we'll move on. Um, mm -hmm. Buffalo, they picked up um, – what's his name? Well, who did, who did they pick up? The uh... they, had the, they had a draft choice. I remember yeah. they, uh, they had the number one draft choice and made – Ah, uh, gosh. No, I Buffalo can't... had this two. Edmonton had the first one. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Edmonton picked up uh, McDavid. Who mm -hmm. did, uh, who did Bo uh, Buffalo pick up? Uh, I cannot think of it right I now. It I can't think of it either. Ugh. I want to watch Buffalo play with with him. I think he. I think that's a good start for Buffalo to start building a team, a person, a person to build their team around. So watch out with Buffalo, man. I want to not not that they're going to make a playoff run or anything like that. My personal opinion, but uh, I I, I want to see where they're heading. Yeah, man. Research that name, Burby Patrick. I can't believe I forgot it. <laughs> I, I can't believe you forgot it either. Let me see if I can find it real quick. All right. Well, why uh why you're looking for it, man? We'll go ahead and uh start, start looking at the uh, Western Conference, and I guess I'll uh start off with my favorite. Wow, why you got us doing research? Uh, yeah, I got it. Jack Eckel. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's yeah. what's <laughs> yeah, from uh, Massachusetts. Yep, number two pick. That's right. Yeah, number two pick. Yep. And uh, yeah, Buffalo. Yeah, they're definitely building for the future, man. I think uh, give them a couple Tyler of Enos and Everton Kane, man. So they, I'm, I, I think they're going to be somebody to watch in a couple in a couple of years. All right, man. Well, uh, I guess uh, with the Western Conference. So the reason why I said uh, this is wide open to me is because, well, 
you probably know from talking to me, Patrick, I'm big on a team that's kind of proven and have been through the wars. The Chicago Blackhawks is that team. They have been through the wars. They felt heartbreak along with winning three Stanley Cups in the last six years. So the reason why it's wide open is because I don't know what the Blackhawks are going to come with I mean, because they lost Everybody. a lot of players and they're still deep. And if Chicago has a deep roster as it is, but they lost some pretty crucial players. They, but he's young. Yeah. Uh, it, it's really going to go a long way to see how how Kane, if, if, if Patrick Kane can come back and get all that stuff out of his uh, out of his closet, I guess. He's he definitely goes, that X factor, man. Yeah. You saw how bad they were doing at the end of the last year without Kane when he was in that injury. And then all of a sudden, man, he comes back in that first round and scores like six goals with four assists, man. And I was like, where the hell did he come from? <laughs> broken, broken, like, wasn't it like a broken arm? And then it was yeah. like, comes back to like literally six weeks after the broken arm and slap shot, those slap shots that were averaging it like, 97 miles an hour. I was like, how do you do that with a broken arm? I think it was a collarbone, man. I I, I think oh, it was. Yeah, I, I think I think it was a collarbone. I think I, I could get fact checked on that too. But I think it was a collarbone. Uh but oh, as it was, no, but no. he was not supposed to be back. Mm -mm. Uh, no, another, at least another three. Back. Yeah. But they needed him, he came back and he went he went crazy on, on in that first round, man. Six goals. I think it was like six goals and like four assists. I was like, how? On a broken heart, how? But hey, he done it, man. Um, so I'll let you finish, man. I had to had to say that. No, nah, that's cool. No, nah, uh, but yeah, Chicago, um, that that's the reason why to me it's wide open. Because we don't I don't know what Chicago's gonna come with. I don't know how things are gonna uh turn out for them. If they are able to get Patrick Kane back, then yes, that I think they're definitely a threat because you got him with Jonathan Taves and uh, the one of the best coaches in Joel Quinville. So mm -hmm. Chicago, we'll see with them. I guess if I had to pick a team that might be the favorite right now in the West, ooh, I don't know. I mean, maybe Anaheim? That's who I would say. You would say Anaheim? All right. I was thinking between them and Nashville. Oh, okay. Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about Nashville. I like what Nashville's doing, man. I, I mean, mean dude, when you got Peke Rene, man, you don't go wrong. You don't, you can't go wrong. I'm, I'm all about Nashville, man. Yeah, there, there, there's my win. <laughs> <laughs> you said that last year, too. I'm going to say it again this year, man. <laughs> Nashville, Predators, man. I got them. <sighs> all right, so... Hey, that was, your hey, hey, that was your assist. That was your assist. Yes, I tried, man. Hey, you assist me, you assist me with the Islanders. So, yes, <laughs> got each other's back on this. I love it. Uh, well, uh, the dark horse, man, my dark horse is the Dallas Stars. The, the moves they have made on defense, picking up Patrick Sharp and uh, Johnny Adulia from the Blackhawks. And... I think bringing those guys in will sure up the defense. You look at the Stars last year, they blew a lot of leads, a lot of leads in the third period. And uh, the goaltending, Kari Lettinen, he didn't have the best year. I think he'll be better. And you also still have Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, two of the most explosive players scoring-wise in the league. I like what now, Dallas did. With Patrick Sharp. Yes. Mm. Uh, still, got, still got Cody Eek in there too. Yeah. Um, Dallas is that they're they're looking stacked, man. On paper, they look stacked, and that, that's my dark horse for the How well can Patrick Kane play with with Tyler Sagan? That is going to be my question right there. You mean Sharp. All right, yeah, that's what I mean. Patrick Sharp. <laughs> uh, you got two puck. You got two puck hogs out there. Who 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 who's going to suck up their pride and pass the puck? That's going to be the question. Um, if I was going to say my dark horse, I'm going to say Winnipeg. Oh, no, Winnipeg. I, I, yeah. I, I ain't going with Winnipeg. <laughs> Why not? But that's a good pick. It is a good pick. It is a good pick. 
Uh, I like a lot of the moves that they made, but I, I mean, you're gonna call me. You're probably gonna call me great. I got Chicago as the dark horse, man. <laughs> I got Chicago because honestly, you don't know what they're gonna do. I like what you were saying with what they were, you know, what they're doing with all this young talent. You don't know what they're gonna go, and they still got Jonathan Tiles on there, so they are still gonna be a good team. You don't know what they're coming with. That's the reason why I like – you couldn't have put it better. I couldn't have put it better than what you just did with Chicago. So I can actually have Chicago as my dark horse. Now, with Chicago being your dark horse, I mean, that's actually a pretty valid point. I mean, I think last year they were the fifth seed. I want to say they were the fifth seed when they won the Stanley Cup last year. They were the fourth seed. Were they fourth? But they started on the road, Patrick. Remember, they played Nashville in that first round series, and Nashville uh, was the home team. Then that would have made them the sixth seed. Okay, so they were the sixth seed. They were the sixth seed then. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They did play Nashville on the road, and Nashville had – no, Anaheim had the best record. Yes, Anaheim had the best record. Then they were – you're right. Then they were the fifth seed. They were the fifth seed. Because – no, you know what? Chicago was six because I think that because they played Chicago played the Minnesota Wild in the second round. Minnesota. Minnesota was the fifth seed. Who did? Yeah, because Minnesota beat St. Louis. Minnesota yep. beat St. Louis in the first round. Then they played Chicago. Chicago swept them, I think. Mm, yeah, Chicago swept yeah. almost everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they the, the, the series with Anaheim went seven. Yeah. And then the series with Tampa Bay went six. Tampa Bay went six. Yeah, they were they were a six seed, dude. Yeah, man, because I know they played Anaheim in the in the Western Conference Final. Anaheim because they beat uh they beat Winnipeg and then they beat Calgary because mm-hmm. Calgary took out Vancouver. So you know, that, that, that always this is always curious. This always got me curious, man. Mm-hmm. You saw that last year six was it five teams six teams from Canada made it to the Yes, it was a uh, Vancouver, and Van- every one of them got their asses handed to them. Uh, is Canada really a hockey? St- is it really hockey up there, or are they just a bunch of pansy losers? Well, well uh, Patrick, but now Montreal did make it to the conference semifinals and get knocked out by Tampa Bay, and so did Calgary. Calgary I got knocked out by Florida. Hardly ever gets any cold weather whatsoever. Goes to the Stanley Cup. I mean, we're practically down here. We're back. We're down here skating on sand. <laughs> even a Montreal team, I, I, even Montreal could not beat a, a couple of guys skating on sand. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I hear you, Patrick. I know, but yeah, you, but you're right. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, yeah. I think the teams from Canada. It was Vancouver, Calgary, Winnipeg, Ottawa, Montreal. Yep, that was the ones. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I think Calgary and Montreal were the only ones to make it out of the first round. <laughs> yeah. Now, I will have to, I, I do want to say this about the Eastern Conference, man. I know that we, uh, I think we're almost done. Uh, yes, we have to make this about, here in a little bit. Yeah, I want to say this about Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. This team, you know, you know how I feel about teams from Philadelphia, how they always, nobody can tank us better than, Nobody's going to out-tank us. <laughs> With the Flyers, I will say this. Nobody out-tanks the Flyers because if they do try, they whip their ass. <laughs> so I got to say about the Flyers. Man, they will, call, they will start fights with anybody. So they're always a fun team to watch. So if you're new to hockey, watch the Flyers, man. They fight anybody, especially when they're <laughs> losing. And even if they're winning, they'll start five. So I don't care. Because nobody out tanks Philly. <laughs> <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> oh, Philadelphia. Oh, my gosh. What has happened to the city of Philadelphia and their sports teams where all of them are just about tanking? And fighting. That's it. <laughs> tanking. It is so terrible. I this mean, is, this yeah. is a proud sports town, Patrick. This is supposed to be. I know. But they modeled their they model their they model their motto behind Rocky Balboa. Yeah. Take a bunch of 
blows to the face, fall down, and we'll come back in the second episode or a new movie and we'll beat you by letting you wear yourself out. Now it's <laughs> take a bunch of blows in the face and then just lay down to take some more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then they, I don't know, man. It's like Philly, Philly just takes a bunch of punches to the face and then they lay on their face and put their butt in the air. It's so terrible. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <sighs> Welcome to Philly. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> what what are your Stanley Cup picks, Patrick? <laughs> uh, I'm going with I'm going with Tampa Bay and Nashville. Um, that 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 would have to be my my picks. And uh, I I don't I don't know who's going to win that. I mean that's going to be a if 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 they're as good on paper if they're good on as I if they are as good on the ice as they are on paper. That's going to be a very interesting series, man. I'm yeah. I, I think I'm going to pick Tampa Bay in the East all, as well. Montreal and the Rangers are really, really close to me with them, but yeah, I think I'm still going to pick Tampa Bay. And in the West, I just don't know. I have no idea. To me, it's wide open. A part of me wants to say. The Chicago Blackhawks still. I still want to say that. Hey, go with the Kings, man. Go with the Kings, yeah, because the Kings just seem to rise up out of nowhere. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I like the New York Giants. You know, they won two Stanley Cups, too. So Both, the, be, in a, both be in a 6 seed too. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, guess, I guess if I'm going to choose right now, man, Wow, it's gonna be like two sunbathe teams, I guess. I'm, I'm probably gonna, I, I would probably lean toward Anaheim. I would probably lean toward Anaheim right now because, again, I just don't know what Chicago's gonna come. I want to pick Chicago, but I don't know. So I'll, I'll, I'll say Anaheim for now, and we'll just see where the chips lay. But the West is wide open to me. I wouldn't be surprised to see any one of. Six teams come out there. We can't forget the Minnesota Wild. I think they're still there to be heard from. But, yeah, I guess if I had to choose right now, it would be Tampa Bay and Anaheim. Well, and, I mean, you know, a lot of people call me crazy with this, if, especially if they know uh, if they know hockey. But uh, don't forget about Connor McDavid at Edmonton, man. Yeah, Edmonton, I think I think they're up and coming. Um, don't be surprised that they make maybe the A seed. I think Edmonton has a lot of young talent that's starting to develop, but I mean, you know, in, in hockey, Patrick, well, I mean, if you get into the playoffs, that, that, you remember when we were talking about baseball, uh, with the baseball preview and talking about home field advantage and how that might not be as big of a factor as it is in other sports. Well, in hockey, man, I think the talent pool is so it's divided. It is really it's divided to where the other teams aren't too much talented than the other ones. So if you get into the playoffs, you have a shot. Look at the L.A. Kings, man. They won the Stanley Cup from the eighth seed a few years ago. Yep. And Chicago, six seed. Now, again, they have players on there who want to Stanley Cups, but whatever. They're still 16. <laughs> well, when you look when you look at Edmonton, man, they they're they're making moves in the right place. I mean, you you know you still got uh you got Ryan Nugent Hopkins who's going to be centering that first line between Taylor Hall and probably Poulet, mm -hmm. probably. And then you got then you're going to pull then you're going to probably put I don't know him being that young. Connor McDavid, I'd probably put him on the third line just, you know, just to get his experience up and, you know, maybe put uh, Matt Hendricks as your uh, second line center. Maybe. Um, I mean, dude, you put anybody. I mean, if, if Connor McDavid is as good as everybody has advertised, it ain't going to matter who you put on that left wing or right wing. Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. Not Poulet. Poulet's going to be on the second line because Jordan Eberle will be on the first line with Hall and. Hopkins. So you could probably drop Everly down or uh, Poulet down to the third line to run with 
with McDavid bed. I mean, dude, if, if he's as good as everybody says he is, it doesn't matter who you want to put on that right or right or left wing man. He's going to dish him the puck and they're going to score. Or he's going to score. I mean, they're saying that this kid is supposed to be better the, better than Sidney Crosby, man. And I mean, the kid, the, Sidney Crosby is good. I just hate the fact that he whines so much. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, we'll see how everything turns out, man. But yeah, I think Edmonton can make a run for that A spot. Um, yeah, well, I guess that concludes our short little NHL preview for the season. Uh, we will definitely be talking about hockey throughout of the season just depending on what's going on and then we can follow up on our picks and we would love to hear from y'all to see uh what y'all feel about this show and how you feel the season will go so check us out on this webcast google plus facebook we're there we're everywhere and tell your friends about it so until then tell your friends friends yep and tell your friends friends so (laughs) tell your grandmas exactly all the above (laughs) So until until next time, hope you enjoyed this show and we will talk soon. Take care.